Today is a good day. We have, from HondaSideBySide.com, a pre-wired relay control switch. So, uh, what this is for is it's going to allow me to be able to turn the auxiliary uh, fuse bank um, on, uh, basically just kind of forcing the uh, stinger relay uh, that we already have pre-installed, uh, force that into an on position, uh, even with the key off. So, why would I want to do that? Uh, well, in case I want to, say, maybe listen to the radio, maybe use the radio, um, or maybe I need some other light source, but I don't need to run the engine to be able to do that. So, this is going to allow me to be able to do this uh, by installing this switch right on the dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and show uh, what this uh, particular uh, install is going to look like. It's a bit, bit of a retrofit. Uh, you have to kind of do, uh, do some minor rewire, um, but it's really, really easy. Okay, so real quick, um, this is what your typical install uh, is going to look like uh, when you have a Stinger uh, relay. So uh, you're obviously going to go ahead and have your your main uh, your battery. Um, this so it's it's very similar if you have a, a single battery or a dual battery. It doesn't really matter, but for simple uh, just for simplistic purposes, I'm only addressing a single battery using the Stinger uh, relay. So um, here's our battery supplying power over here to the top post of the Stinger, and then from here when the Stinger relay turns on, it uh, it activates and then uh, sends power over to the fuse box so this is where all my accessories comes off of now it also has a negative bus bar on there again this is also another one that's uh that's being sold by uh, honda side by side.com so it's a really nice little, little box they have this one and they also have a bigger one i went for the for the smaller one uh just because i didn't really need a whole lot on here in hindsight I've, i have added a lot uh but uh, i'm still think i'm still doing uh doing pretty well for for this particular uh setup so uh stinger is also from honda side by side.com moving forwards um this is the wiring kit so uh it does come with a, a nice set of instructions um but i'd like to go ahead and kind of help translate some of this uh, into a nice little diagram so it's a little bit easier to work with i'm gonna go ahead and uh show you what, the, what this is eventually going to look like Okay, so they do a really good job of putting together uh, the instructions right here. So it describes uh, what each wire does and where it goes, everything like that. Um, so this is what the translation is going to look like. So our switch is obviously going to go onto our, our dash panel. We're going to go ahead and move our, our key on uh, into the, uh, um, the yellow wire uh, on this. Uh, yep, yep, yellow on. Okay, so yes, yeah, so this is going to be the green wire coming off of the, the switch is actually going to go to our... Uh, to our ground, our yellow is going to go to our key on, and then those other two uh, goofy little greens is going to go to either post uh, for the activation side of the stinger, um, and then the um, the red wire with the little fuse is going to go onto the hot side of the stinger. So there is our little fuse box right there. Um, Again, this is overly simplified. What I'm actually going to do for the for the ground wire, I'm going to obviously disconnect the uh, the line that was already going up to the stinger, and I'm just going to go ahead and route this uh, um, route this black wire because it already has a uh, has a um, has a little thing on the end of it. So I can go ahead and just route this over to the ground side of the fuse box because it has a hot line back to uh, uh to the battery anyway. So um, so first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and disconnect the uh, the lines for the stinger piece and then uh, go ahead and get that uh, hooked up for right there. Uh, obviously need to pop the panel off and then put the uh, put the switch in feed the feed the lines and then i can go ahead and start doing the work okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, screwdriver ready to go here obviously i have uh, a few different switches but i have two blanks left over i'm gonna go ahead and put this on the far right side uh, one of the recommendations for from the instructions is to go ahead and put it uh, over here uh, so you can go ahead and do a uh, do a small uh, cutout it does provide the uh, a little like a little template with the, with the sizes and this is a nice open uh, void space uh, so that way you can go ahead and and turn the auxiliary power on um, without having to uh, jump in all the way into the cab um, I'm not exactly going that direction um, yeah so um, I'm going in this way so uh, again, let's just go ahead and pop this off and then I can go ahead and route the wires down and just drop the switch in all right so it's just a matter of uh, going to the other side, uh, reaching up and just pulling the wires uh, up. Go ahead and make sure you take the slack up and then I can go ahead and shove that in. There we go. So notice this is a three-way switch. So the idea is this is uh, the position is going to be off. So it, it completely kills the, the entire auxiliary side. If you boot, it's going to use the down button. It's going to be key on. So this is just like as if you uh, had the system um, hooked straight from the key on position straight into the stinger versus the other one is all the way up. We'll turn it on even if the key is off, okay? Real quick tip before you start working on, on all this stuff, before you start unscrewing the, uh, the screws and everything like that, uh, make sure that you 
uh, have the key off and possibly disconnect the uh, um, the main power from the from the battery before you start doing this. Otherwise, if you are testing this stuff out and you accidentally touch uh, one of those posts in the wrong spot, uh, you may find yourself uh, changing one of the fuses. Don't ask me how I know this. Okay, so I've disconnected the small posts on my stinger. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring my my lines in here. And so I'm going to go ahead and connect these two to the um, these small posts here and then route the red wire over to my my hotline so uh, my hotline is is this one and then everything else comes off of it from here so just run that to that hotline straight to this because it has a hot that goes directly into the battery from this post okay i've got my stinger stuff uh, all set up so i got the, that wire coming off of the uh, the hot i got those uh, two green wires down on the small posts next i'm gonna go ahead and work on the uh, the green wire which goes to ground um so i'm just gonna go ahead and tie this into the uh, uh ground side of my fuse box and what's really cool is this kit also includes spade connection this guy thinks of everything Okay, so the last thing I need to do is go ahead and bring um, this yellow wire. It's uh, you've got a label on the end of it. It goes to a uh, uh, the key key to hot, so that's your ACC. So again, that's uh, connects up up here. There's a little uh, joint connector. Let's see where where is that guy? It's it's up in here somewhere. And then the yeah. So there you are. He's he's hidden behind there. There's there's the a Honda uh, key on plug so we're jacked into that routes down over here so um, I happen to have a lug connection on there right now so there's a little braided wire so I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just lob this off and then just go ahead and use a, uh, a butt connector that's the only thing that is not included in this kit so um, um, I, but again you, you may need this for your purpose you may need you may not so you kind of have to adapt so I'm gonna go ahead and slice this and butt it together and then we'll go ahead and test it out Okay, so I'm going to, I have everything all hooked up and ready to go. So um, just to be clear on this, uh, so all, there are all kinds of wiring is on the back side of the switch. Um, so that's where all the magic really happens. So it just routes the power where it needs to go. So yes, you are in fact disconnecting everything from here uh, that you originally had and then using the, uh, the green line. So with that little stub, little shunt uh, in between, or be able to run that. And then with there's your, again, there's your power, there's your ground, and then there's your, your ACC that you're uh, splicing into, which is basically your district key on uh, connection. So uh, testing this out. So we have everything, uh, we have the key right here, but everything is off. I can reach over here and hit the, there's my radio kicking on. So um, I, my entire um, aux deck is available to, uh, for use. I can go ahead and turn, you know, turn my radio on like that. So I can go ahead and listen to stuff. And then if I turn my key on, obviously the experience is going to be very much the same, but uh, you can go ahead and hit that and it'll, it kills the auxiliary, everything. And then if I hit key on, it that's the same experience as if I had it uh, hooked directly to the stinger. So, okay, so yeah, key on is, is what you wouldn't want to normally have it on uh, for uh, for when you're using uh, using everything. So we go ahead and shut that off and the light turns off and everything like that. So the only time that the light comes on is when you have it on, on aux and then you want to go ahead and use things uh, without turning the entire system on. Okay, so that is the uh, the install and the usability of the uh, pre-wired uh, switch relay, uh, sorry, sorry, relay control switch uh, from uh, HondaSideBySide.com. And so uh, hopefully this this was uh, this was helpful. I really like this. I think this is a perfect complement for having a system, especially when you have a, an auxiliary battery in place and you also have that uh, that dedicated fuse box for all of your accessories. One note of caution, though, um, you don't want to necessarily use this uh, that that aux switch unless you um, either have the ability to go ahead and still charge or still start, you know start the vehicle up, uh, or if you know if you know your 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 load is is, is very low, um, you can also augment this. Like say for example, if I have have um, a solar panel on the on the top of my side by side, so I can go ahead and charge out uh, when, when I'm camping. So using a small like little radio or whatever uh, won't won't cause a problem. I really like this because uh, if I am parked and you know with 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 solar solar sun, I have a, a switch over here. I have a USB C. Uh, power cable. So if I need to go ahead and charge a navigational iPad, um, I can go ahead and and do that um, while the system is is just here with the, with the, with the, with the engine off. Because I just you know flip that to aux, turn the uh, that 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 particular cable on, and I can go ahead and charge my my pad or my phone or whatever it is I need to do through that. So this is a perfect complement. Just again, be very careful that you don't drain your battery completely. Um, I um, I happen to have installed a, a Kimamoto. Uh, 
um, dual battery uh, charging system. So in the event that I do run my auxiliary battery system down, um, I, I, I'm not gonna be killing my uh, my starter battery. So I can still go ahead and start that up. And if I, if I wanted to, I can also use the aux to uh, help assist the starter uh, side battery. So uh, that's really cool. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. Go ahead and hit the uh, like and subscribe buttons if, if it was. Also be sure to check out the hondasidebyside.com website. There's all kinds of accessories for the Pioneer, for the Talon. I believe the, uh, this particular accessory also works on the Talon side as well. So it's a pretty universal considering it's, it's, it's just turning on and off a, a stinger using the, the key on uh, port. So uh, in any case, happy riding.